Hey guys, welcome back. Um, just wanted to show this uh, replay, not an average replay, at least not for me. So, currently my best game ever. Uh, funnily enough, on leave maybe the same map as the other one. Uh, my previous best game. Uh, again, with the United States airplanes. Uh, I'm starting off with an F2. Uh, Buffalo, A3, F2, A3. <coughs> Excuse me. This, uh, this little thing is, uh, pretty, pretty awesome. I really, really like this plane. It's, uh, really maneuverable. Loadout, its weapon loadout is pretty good for the level it is. I just started taking off the auto repair because I'm starting to get with my subpar gameplay. Some negatives on my on my money back but here I'm just gonna go start off and grab some easy money slash experience with grabbing the ground targets uh, each one of these little installations has got like three three any airs and a pillbox I can't take out the pillbox but the any airs as you can see are really easy to take out with just machine Boxes take a good bit of hitting with uh, the bombs like that right there. Uh, there's a ton of them on these maps, so uh, I'm gonna go out of my way, go ahead and uh, get as many done as I can, especially while nobody's here. Um, I probably just saw. Yeah, there's a couple bad guys there. We'll move on to easier pickings. Here's another installation down here. You can see they're all set laid out in the same way. Three any airs on the sides, and the pillbox in the center. Picked up two. You get extra, just a touch extra slash experience. Uh, by getting two in one dive in a short amount of time but yeah just kind of running around this match early on I haven't really seen uh, any bad guys nothing's harassed yet so I'm just moving from spot to spot so far going well it's had a uh, six six uh, anti-aircraft guns I've taken out so I can't remember the experience. It's not. It's not a lot. It's not. It's obviously not nearly as much as taking taking out a uh, taking out a uh, airplane. But it's free. You know, nobody here. Take them out and come on back. Here I got the any aircraft firing back at me. I had the one. You can see, I almost hit the tree. Uh, I knew the tree was there, but I was hoping to get the kill before. And this one. Went ahead and picked up two and barely got away. That, that's the thing I'm talking about with this airplane. It's so nimble. You can really get away with a lot of stuff you wouldn't be able to get away with in about any plane. Uh, that's some bad shooting there. Way overshooting it. Plus, it's cool when you can fly through the explosion that you just caused. Uh, <laughs> looks pretty cool. Next one, and then we got one more to go get. If we can get that unharassed. This last any aircraft. Now, apparently, this is arcade mode, and apparently, in uh, there that is. Uh, just time. Okay. Almost was working on hitting that tree. But you see, I've already gotten nine, ten down, or ten, eleven down now. Uh, any aircraft. There is a bunch on this map, but that's putting our team up ahead because this is a ground strike mission and take out all the ground units, then your game, you win the game. So, uh, it's very difficult to do, especially you see all those installations, they all have pillboxes. So, it's going to take some very good bomber, uh, which I don't have on this plane, any bombs whatsoever. Uh, uh, to knock those out. See, there's 
little biplane on me. No, that's a P-26. A P-26 on me. I have to break off from... From, uh... Getting my little... Ground strike runs going and see if I can't... Pick him off. Uh, P-26 a level 1. Airplane maybe? Maybe it's low. No, it's a level 0. It's a reserve airplane. Little pea shooter, P-26. Uh, not got a lot of firepower. Uh, not terribly quick though, it is very, very nimble. Um, it's definitely a lot more maneuverable than me. But, he went ahead and he's done. He's crashed. Uh, presumably from damage I've put into him. I think from this point forward, uh, I'm not really able to do a ton more as far as the ground. But, uh, so far, I, I mean, how many is that? That was, there we go. We've got some company, another buffalo. Just passed by, got a couple shots. And there's another P-26, so. Uh, I think my engine's out, which is what that one buffalo got. You can see, you can't even hear my engine anymore. So, kind of done. There goes my wings. So, we're done with this. I think with my last breath, I was trying to gra grab that P-26, but it was successful. Uh, did finally get shot down. My engine was out, so. Not anywhere to really land. Especially on this far on the other side of the map. Uh, it's their, their base, but that's not going to do me any good. Now, this here is the uh, F4F uh, Wildcat. Uh, I'm carrying 200 kilogram bombs or 100 pound bombs. I can't remember. I think the US does pound versus kilograms of everywhere else. Uh, and as I'm coming in, I'm already shooting one of the dual engined semi bombers of. It might be an actual bomber, uh, a Russian, I mean a German bomber. So, uh, you can see he's putting out a little bit of smoke. Putting a few bullets into him. I gotta, I can't stay on his butt. One, I'm faster than him, but two, he's got those rear gunners, but I did get his engine. And that's what you want to go for on those, uh, twin engined bombers. You really want to get, uh, the, the engines if you can, because it, it it, that's the, kind of their weak spot. Uh, here I am. I know I've got these bombs. I want to get rid of them. They uh, add some weight to, to what I've got, so I'm going to go ahead and drop them on that pillbox. They're not going to do a, a ton of damage, but you know they get a, they get a hit for me. And uh, yeah, there's somebody. Looks like a hurricane behind me. Uh, so and I'm chasing. Looks like a, maybe not a zero. It was an A5M2 that uh, level one airplane, or is that that's a German HE112 or something like that? Uh, a lower level, a lower level fighter, very nimble, but uh, it gets heavy at speed. Um, I, I first couple times I ran that that stupid plane, I was diving into the ground like I usually would with most every other plane I have and uh, couldn't pull up in time, just ran smack into the ground. So, not a big fan of that, although it, it does, it, you're at a slow speed, it is very nimble. To see, I'm in trouble here. I'm all the way on their side of the map. I've got uh, two, yeah, a couple airplanes shooting at me. That a G50 or something. Oh, look at that. Went ahead and took each other out. That was very friendly of them. Uh, so, I'm hurt, but I'm not out. I'm try and grab this uh, hurricane, but I'm gonna get shot by that guy. I guess it looks like a P-26. Uh, get my wing shot off. So there's two planes down. I've got five planes total in my rotation. Uh, probably bring out. Uh, usually I'll start with the uh, F-2A-3 Buffalo. Then I'll start with the. Then I'll go to the Wildcat, and generally I'll go to the Kitty Hawk. But it looks like. Decided to go with the Avenger. 
Uh, the Avenger's a bomber. Um, you can see it's got the turret up top, and it's got also a turret underneath. Uh, it's not dual engined, so it's uh, it's got a smaller profile. It's a bit more maneuverable than something like the Beaufort bomber or A-20 uh, that the Americans have. <laughs> but it's still not terribly fast. It's carrying four or 500 kilogram or four or 500 pound bombs. Uh, so it's not it's it's not really a mover, but it does uh, it does have uh, decent speed for a bomber, and it still has that loadout. You know, four or five hundred pound bombs. That's that's pretty damn good for for a bomber without any upgrades. I can upgrade it and get a couple more load. Or can I? I think I can upgrade it and get a couple more loadouts. I could be wrong on that. Might just be limited to four or five hundred pounders. But even so, that's uh, that's a heck of a heck of a loadout. Uh, so since I'm in this, I'm going to go ahead and try and take out some fill boxes and we'll see how that goes. I'm slowing down. Uh, I'm in my bombardier view and uh, see if we can see if we can catch these bombs as they're dropping. See, uh, see if I can actually kill anything. These fill boxes are what I'm going for. They're the big targets. Uh, you know, if there's anything, if there's any, any aircraft left that's next to them, they should go down too. So but as you can see, I've slowed down, leveled out, not even paying attention to my flying. Just really trying to zoom in and get that uh, targeting down so I can drop them uh, as much as possible. you got to hit the button four times to drop four bombs, so you got to do it quick. So, here they go. We'll go ahead and follow the second bomb down and see what we're, uh, see, how, see how they do. Uh, you can see we're going for that pillbox down there. It looks like there might be some anti-aircraft. There is at least one there. So if I'm if I'm on the money here, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get all of this here. Uh, oh yeah, that was a that was a direct hit. Those things they're dead. As you can see, the cloud of smoke got maybe three anti-aircraft, if not two, and the pillbox. So pretty good. Now, I'm going to go ahead and speed it up. I've got to uh, got to wait like a minute uh, for the next bombs to come. So we'll go ahead and speed it up instead of waiting for me to turn around. And Okay, now we've slowed down. Uh, now I do have some... See, now there's somebody on me, but I'm not paying zero attention to them because i got to get those bombs off. And uh, go ahead and take up. You see, and my rear gunners hopefully we'll take care of everything I can do you know I mean basically I'm gonna do is kind of yo-yo back and forth and and wait for my bombs to come back and uh, try not to get shot down uh, that way I can get another loadout off and I'm gonna continue to try and do that for as long as possible uh, he's a fighter so he's 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 one got more armament uh, in his forward guns in a one second burst than I do uh, he's also a lot faster and a lot more maneuverable than I am. So I'm just trying to keep him from hitting me and hoping that my gunners are uh, doing their best to hit him. And, uh, you know, it, it's happened before I've gotten lucky and gotten a kill on on somebody chasing me around doing this. So it might not be the best method, but it's it's something that I, I found can work. And due to his better maneuverability and speed, he's, he's, he's going to... Give me a hard time regardless now here my uh, bombs are probably coming just back up so what i want to do is um uh, there's also the reticle reticle if you're not in the bombardier screen but it's just it's a little bit harder to use uh so but i'm going to use that because i'm getting chased right now um I'm trying to see that looks like a german plane it looks like he's going for my wing um he broke off him and somebody else i guess it looked like uh my buddy came through and shot him. Thanks for that. That's a, that's a big, big help. Um, but obviously, you know, I mean, what I'm trying to do here is grab that pillbox down there. Uh, go ahead and try and catch the first bomb as it drops. Oh, didn't catch the first one. And uh, I don't know if we're going to get this one. Wasn't able to line it up like I was able to with the other one. But uh, we'll see. We might get close. Uh, it looks like I'm past it. Uh, Might have got a hit, but I'm pretty sure I did not get a kill on that. Um, it's too bad. So you really, I mean, you, you know, if you're gonna have to wait 
uh, if you're going to have to wait a minute and a half for your next bomb loadout to come, you really don't want to miss. So we'll go ahead and let's see. There's a. Uh, like, um. Yeah, I'm dodging from somebody else coming up behind me. Trying not to, uh. Trying to do the same thing. You know, let's. Go ahead and dodge these shots if we can and wait for our bombs to come up and maybe get another assault off. But um that there is a um G202 or CR50 or one of the German or Italian planes in the German tree. Um Yeah, it looks like I'm just uh actually looks like maybe my control isn't fantastic. So we're um Oh, I'm getting lit up. I'm not gonna make. There's three of them after me. Um, I did get the load off. I gotta get it off. Uh, but I do not think. Look at that. I've got holes in my wings. I have got bullet holes all over the place. My wing is on fire. I'll just try and grab, kill if I can. Maybe get some shots into that guy before I die, because this will hit the fuel and it will explode. So, yep. And there it goes. But I got. Is that three or four? Three or four bomb drops off is pretty good. I got at least one pillbox, which is very important. Um, you know, and this is pretty late in the match, so we're we're getting down to it. Uh, there's not there's not a whole lot of a uh, whole lot of planes left. And I've got two left. I've got this. This is the P40 Kitty Hawk. This carries a 500 pound bomb and two 100 pound bombs, and we're gonna try and get those off as soon as possible. It really affects your uh, your climb speed, uh, carrying that extra 700 pounds around. This right here is a, um, it's a real pretty airplane. Um, this thing is a boom and zoomer. You gotta get some speed, move, hit, uh, and then maintain your speed. That means don't start trying to climb, don't start really trying to do some heavy turning, because you're not gonna you're going to drain all that speed off, and this thing does not handle well enough to be a dogfighter. We'll go ahead and see if we can knock out this pillbox. We'll see about this one. Oh, uh, that's a big hit. Yeah, that one's gone. So, that's pretty good. Uh, I think it really pays to focus in the early game on getting a lot of those in one day in the air which of course is going to help you out but uh trying to get that now see these things what they try to do is hit you um i i would assume more often than not that if you're in a head-on uh attack with somebody they are out to hit you so what you want to do is get a kind of line it up get a few shots in early and Go ahead and break off as soon as possible because you're not you're not I mean especially a biplane versus a P40 the P40 is a lot more valuable. Now I've got uh, looks like two planes on me. Yeah, that one's not mine. Um, so that's a no, it is ours. Okay, good. So that's a, a, a NA2 uh, the the lower level Buffalo, um, which I've still got left in my arsenal. I've got to try not to shoot my buddy. Um, all the while trying to kill that, but I think that thing's dead. He's going straight into the ground. So, go ahead and try and grab some, some altitude and maybe get a little speed up and uh, start looking for our next target. Uh, now, with these fighters um, that you can attach bombs to, uh, fighter bombers, the reload on the bombs are are I mean long you know very 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 long you've, you're generally I would say especially in an arcade you're gonna get one shot with your bombs because it's gonna be five or six minutes before you can shoot again there you go see now that's what you want to do you want to you want to come in zoom through shoot as best as you can as you can see I got his wing and uh, and move on so here I'm just looking for targets without trying to lose my speed. I don't want to. I don't want to. Uh, 
I don't want to... You know, bleed, if you bleed all your speed out, you're not going to get anything accomplished. You're... And then, you see, I, I pull up. I want to I wanna not attack him if I can help it. I mean, not run into him if I can help it head on. Because I don't know that he moved, but... Uh, typically they don't. Uh, I believe this is... Whoa. That was close. That was very close. Uh, and that's one thing I've got to get better with is using my uh, A and D keys to paddle my wing, uh, like in, as in a barrel roll. Um, uh, this is uh, that right there is a G50, I believe. I can never. They all look the same to me. Uh, might be a two of one of the Italian planes in the German tree. Uh, and look at that. Something else just just about hit me. Um, really, it turns into, uh, you know, trying to get, it, it, trying not to get hit, you know, I mean, not only get, not get shot, but not get hit. And, uh, there's a little biplane after me, there's also an F4, or, or yeah, there's an F2, um, but yeah, it is just too much, um, uh, not terribly maneuverable, so if they can get on me and I bled all my speed out, and I'm done. So, um, go ahead and probably go ahead and bring out the other F2. This is uh, my little F2. This is a, <laughs> it's a level one plane, and it's uh, it's it's one of my favorite planes ever. This thing, I swear, I feel like I can I can dance on it. Them on a pin top with this thing, um, uh, and there you can see down there. There's a P26 um, over by. That's actually our airfield over there. But um, I don't know what he's doing. You know, he's not got bombs. The airfield has got great uh, anti-aircraft. So. Uh, whatever he's trying to do, it's not going to work out well for him. He's all alone in his little level zero reserve airplane. Uh, go ahead and get a few shots into him. If I can, let's see, I'm shooting behind him, but there we go. Try not to hit him. Uh, I don't know if he thought he was somewhere else. Or he's just a bad pilot. You see, th threw, a sh threw a few shots into the ground and then hit it. Uh, let's see. What's that there? That's something moving really fast. Uh, that's that F4. Uh, set it that F4. F no, it's an F2. Um, and the nice thing is, is if I can catch up to him, he came in with a lot of speed, but he bled a lot of it off doing that U-turn. So, but if I, can, if I can keep up with him, then, uh, yeah, I'm getting some good shots in him there. Uh, if I can, if I can get that speed up, which he keeps bleeding it off by climbing and and doing all these crazy turns, tries to hide behind a mountain, I'm expecting him to come out, but it looks like he's just going to move forward. So he just bled off a lot of speed for nothing, and let me catch up to him. Now he's not going to lose me. He's just not going to lose me. It's, oh, not not now. So, uh, I'm on his ass, and I'm not leaving. I'm, I'm setting up shop here, uh, paid rent, and I will be here for a while. Um, doing a little reloading, and. Uh, a neat little trick also if you're moving faster you can zoom up on the side of them grab some altitude and then come back and get in behind them and uh, if it with practice you can get it to where you're gonna be moving the same speed as he is uh, but you can see he's he's just pulling ass back to his side of the base and uh, or the map um, maybe looking for some for some backup but I am I am on him he's within you know 2,500 Feet if I'm shooting at him, he's doing barrel rolls up there. Uh, you know, I don't know if he's just goofing off, but I'm, I'm I'm hitting him. I mean, those are those are some serious hits. I just got his oil tank. He's smoking now, uh, and at this point, I mean, he's got to know he's done. So he's going to go up. I believe we have a doing a little bit of yo-yoing. It does make it harder to hit, as you can see. But uh, looks like he's going to go up and try and hit this bomber. If he, can, I don't think he can get up there though. Um. Let's see, yeah, he's, he's definitely going up there. Uh, meanwhile, I'm just going to keep taking my shots. Short little bursts, trying to catch him. 
on his uh, on his uh, peaks or valleys. Uh, if I'm not shooting now, it's because I'm reloading. I put what, almost two full clips into this guy. Um, that's the thing with arcade. It, it, it not unlimited ammo. There we go. Knock this tail off. It's not unlimited ammo, but he. Uh, but uh, it takes time uh, with your guns. It's generally about 15 seconds to reload. Um, so I went ahead and got. Let's see. I'm, I got two now. If you count the P26, which I'm counting. Thank you. Uh, and I took out that buffalo, and now I'm going to go ahead and jump on this hurricane that's chasing, I think it's a hurricane, that's chasing my buddy down. So, he broke off because he's starting to get hit by me, and the nice thing about this is the hurricane has lost his speed, and he's not going to be able to get as much up. Uh, to get away from me now, and he's definitely not as maneuverable as I am, so he's gonna have a bit of problem. See, uh, somebody else came in, snapped off his wing, and you know, he's uh, he's mountain food now. But um, yeah, as you can see, this thing's really, really light, really maneuverable. The thing is, it doesn't have great weaponry, you know. But yeah, you don't need it if you're gonna if you're gonna sit there on uh, on a per on a person's ass all day. You know, I mean, you, they can, they're going to have problems with you. So now, here we are with this, with this little biplane chasing my buddy. Um, and uh, so I'm going to try and grab him, um, but I'm way faster than him. So here we go. I'm up to the side and going to circle around and get behind him. I know I've got the speed. He's not going anywhere. Um... So as long as my buddy can stay alive, uh, I am going to get him. He's going to be mine. See, I've got, I just got, he lost his cooling system. He's getting, taking lots of hits. And he is done. Heading to the ground. Now, uh, is that an enemy? Or is that, I think that's my buddy that I saved. Um, so, uh, so far, I've pretty good we're, we're we're doing well we're we I think uh near the end here we were outmanned um I think by now we've uh we've kind of evened it up a bit now we just need to we're ahead in ground the ground strike part we're ahead in our score uh we've got more kills on the ground stuff than they do um and at this point it's uh I've got some damage to my center torso and just gonna go ahead and head for home. Uh, go ahead and head back to the base. I don't. I'm, I'm constantly looking around for on the mini map and in the air. Uh, I'm not seeing anything. Uh, it doesn't show you unless you know. It doesn't. I can see stuff from across the map as long as somebody else is looking at it. It's gotta be. It's gotta be targeted, or not even targeted, but visible. Somebody's gotta be able to see it. Um, and I shouldn't say that. It's not all the way across the map. It. It, it's more visible, like I can see them behind mountains and things, which I couldn't if nobody was watching them. Um, but it's a good bit distance longer than I can normally see. Uh, so you can see I'm cutting my speed, my air my airstrips over here. That's one thing I'm trying to get down. I've got some tail damage. Um, this one thing I'm trying to get down is the, um, the most efficient way to land. Um, right now I'm playing it safe. You know, the, the way I'm doing it is I'm playing it safe and, and trying to come in slow because trying to get down to under, you know, 150, 200 to 150 miles per hour and 200 is really pushing it. Unless you stick the landing on the first time, you're you're not going to break in time before you go off the, off the strip. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm coming over and I'm looking at these anti-aircraft guns shooting at something and lo and behold, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's an airplane. I mean, it's an enemy airplane coming in. I don't. And again, I don't know what he's doing. It's a little. Uh, it's like a swordfish. Uh, so I power up and I'm gonna go kill him. But uh, looks like the air any aircraft got him. He's uh, he's done. He's in the dirt. You know, you see the see the wreckage there. And uh, that's gonna do it. It was a uh, definitely a good game. Um, that I had, and I'm gonna go to 
this core screen. I, I didn't YouTube it. Uh, I didn't YouTube it. I didn't fraps it, uh, which kind of bumps me out. Um, been having a little bit of I'm say issue, just some just a little wonkiness from the uh, from the from the game, you know, even without fraps. So I've been kind of working on that, trying to get it squared away. But um, as you can see. I got 3,200. I had uh, ended up with. Uh, I wish they would give you the whole score. I don't see any way to do that. Huh. But um, ended up with over 20 ground kills and five air kills, uh, and I did use four planes. Not, not as good as my 10 kill game, but with the, with the uh, ground kills, uh, really worked out. And this is with a premium account, so. I think without the premium account, it probably would have been closer to 20 and 20, uh, 20 and 20 K. But yeah, it's, uh, so far so good, man. Uh, this has been going really well. I uh, see. And this is what you can see. I turned off the automatic repair. So to get a free repair, you have to wait, uh, five hours and 49 minutes. Um, it's currently in a condition of 78% means I got a minute, hour and 41 minutes left. This one has 11 minutes left. So uh, you know, and in that time I can go out to other planes or, you know, if I feel like it, I can hit the repair button and it'll cost me 21, 25 lines, but I'm trying to save and trying to learn how to use this system. Well, you can see even in the, uh, even in the, uh, <laughs> the hangar, this thing is beat up. It does not like, it will not be fixed, fixed until it is fixed. You can see this thing is. It's uh, pretty tore up as well. Uh, and, and you know, these did crash, but that's because the wing came off or uh, something like that. But these things can fly with all this damage. It's just it, it reduces the, uh, the uh, ability to really control a maneuver. Like you can see, all of, all of the wing is pretty much toast. Everything on the, on the wings are bad. The tail is bad, so. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to check this out, and I'll let you know what I think about uh, maybe I'll save a ton of money doing it this way if I can just be patient um, and let things kind of repair as they repair. I've got a ton of got 60, 63 airplanes, so, you know, if I don't want to play this one and I want to wait on it, I bring something else in that I'm not as as crazy about. But uh, And maybe this will make me a safer pilot. But uh, thanks again for y'all for watching. The game is War Thunder. You can go check it out. It's free to play, warthunder.com. And if you do get into it, and you want to play, just hit me up. My name's SOB in game. Thanks.